What's good? Man, the Lions, man, they won yesterday. I'm happy about that. Even though I did say the Cardinals was going to blow them out, and they didn't. Kyler Murray, he looked terrible yesterday. <laughs> Besides a couple of passes, he looked terrible. But anyway, the New Orleans Saints, man. What do the Lions got to do to win this game? Now, I watched last night's game. I've been watching the Saints been on – haven't the Saints been on primetime three weeks in a row? No, two out of the three weeks they've been on primetime. They, they had a 4 o'clock game against the Buccaneers. They won that. And they had another game against the Raiders. The Raiders just ran the ball down their throat, and they couldn't do anything to stop it. And then they played against the Packers. The Packers had a little success running the ball, but mainly Aaron Rodgers did enough to win the game. And the Saints choked that game away. It's like you in Atlanta, y'all pissed me off yesterday. I'm not even going to lie. Atlanta, the Atlanta Falcons and you pissed me off. Both against the NFC North foes. Why y'all didn't get the job done? It's been, it, particularly the Saints. Why y'all didn't get the job done, bro? Like, y'all choked the game away, man. Tyson Tyson Hill, he just fumbled the ball, and it basically cost you the game. That was a game changer right there. That pissed me off. And then right, it was a tie game, and then bam, fumble. It's just a game changer. It turned the game around quickly. I was so upset. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> I'm like, I wanted y'all to beat the Packers, just like I wanted Atlanta to beat the Bears, but they didn't. Y'all both choked. But anyway, man. What do we got to do to win the game, the Lions, anyway? Um, first off, these are three things that's got to be important. Defense, discipline, and and commitment. That's three things that's going to take to beat the Saints. Look, we got to stay committed to the run. Yes, Adrian Peterson he had what twenty? I think he had like twenty-five or twenty-six carries. I'm not. I don't quite remember how many carries he had, but I know it was in the twenties. I know it was like in the mid twenties. But um, he had seventy-five yards. Now he wasn't like game busting or nothing like that yesterday. Some of that had to do with you know the offensive line collapsing and not giving him holes. Like Big V was not opening up no holes for him at all. I don't know why we signed his bum ass. I don't understand this. But he didn't open up no holes for him, and he was getting blown up in the run game consistently. Also, we need to stay committed to the run. When we did that yesterday, it made it still gave the Cardinals like, oh, what they're going to do now. It kept them guessing on their defense. You know what I'm saying? Our defense, I mean, our offense wasn't, you know, great or nothing like that. It, it did enough to win, but it wasn't great. We scored 26 points. So... And we beat them by a field goal. That game could have went either way. <laughs> but what it's going to take to win the game, we got to stick to the run game. This week, I I want to see Swift. I need to see Swift. I need to see more Swift. I like I like what Adrian Peterson doing right now, but I need to see Swift. This is why we drafted him in the second round. The guy, his route running ability is nasty. He's really good at route running. His footwork is immaculate. So... I would use him in a passing game more, and I would use him to run the ball. Like, he could be, like, the running back we going up against Alvin Kamara and the Saints. Like, he's that talented. He really is. Except I think Swift is a little more explosive, a little bit faster. But that, with that being said, we need to use Swift. I want to see Swift get the bulk load of the carries. I want to see him because I, I just can feel that he going to – if they give him a chance to run the ball, I feel like he's going to break off for a big one. He's going to get like a 60, 70-yard run for a touchdown. But they got to give him the ball. They got to give him the ball. I want to see Swift get the ball. I mean, I want to see a little AP sprinkled in there too. You know what I'm saying? But mainly I want to see Swift getting that ball. He got to get the ball this week. Second. Second. The pack, the the Saints, they their secondary is still kind of questionable to me. It is, it really is. Like they struggled against the deep ball. You know what I'm saying? You know they couldn't stop when Aaron Rodgers throwing the deep ball. They couldn't stop that. I need Matthew Stafford to challenge that secondary. 
I need him to do that. Usually Stafford do have pretty good games against the Saints. I mean, the last time he played against the Saints, he really didn't have a good game <laughs> because their defense was good. Now, now the Saints, man, like Drew Brees, he's I'm gonna be honest with you, Drew Brees is done. He's done. Drew Brees is done. As good as the quarterback he's been in his career, he's done. Like the last three weeks proved to me he's done. His arm is gone, bro. Like, it's going to – the Lions' defense got to stay committed. Like, well, I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But anyway, let me get back to Stafford. I want him to challenge – I want him to challenge the Saints' secondary. Throw the ball down the field to Kenny Galladay or Marvin Hall or whoever. Throw that ball down the field. I want y'all to stretch the Saints' defense. I want y'all to put the fear in their heart like Aaron Rodgers did last night. <laughs> because, honestly, they can't defend the deep ball. You can see that. <laughs> they can't defend the deep ball. They, they struggle with that. So I want us to challenge them. Use play action. You know, run the ball. Be committed to the run game. And use T.J. Hawkinson in an intermediate routes. And you'll be straight. You'll be straight. Marvin Jones going to get a little bit of his because everybody going to be on Galladay and T.J. Hawkinson. They're going to be trying to double both of them from time to time. So Marvin Hall, I mean, Marvin Jones might get some big plays in this game. But uh, that's what's going to take the win. That on the offensive side. And also the offense got to keep blocking. I mean, the Saints D-line, it's like, it's okay. But the off, like the way the Saints run, it's not going to win them a championship. I think this is the last year Drew Brees can actually win the championship. And they don't look like they're a championship team to me. Now I'm not talk. I'm not trying to talk trash. I'm to be honest with you. Let's get now. Let's get to the offense and the defense. The offense of the Saints and the defensive Lions. Defense. The Lions got to be able to wrap up. They got to. That's the number one thing in this game. They got to play tight coverage. Y'all don't really got to play deep because Drew Brees is not going to stretch the field. Oh hell no! <laughs> At this point of his career, he is done. Drew Brees is done. Done. That arm is gone. <laughs> he ain't throwing no deep passes. All I see him do is throw these little dink and dunk passes. He throw three-yard passes and shit. That's all he do. He throw these little dink and dunk passes of Kamara and and, and uh, Mur Latavius Murray. And he also throw these little, little dink and dunk passes to, like, his other receivers and stuff like that. He not stretching the field no more. Drew Brees' arm is shut down. It's shut. It's shot. His arm is shot. You can clearly see he's not He's not the old Drew Brees. You can clearly see that. They, like, like, they had to try to come back by, like, the last two weeks, they tried to come back from behind, and Drew Brees not even stretching the field. This dude throwing little dink and dunk passes to try to get yards out of the catch. That's what the Saints offense is based off of. That's the predication of their offense is run after the catch. So that's what the Saints is short offense run out of the catch. We gotta be able to press, be able to press on them. We gotta be able to harass them, throw a little zone in there, you know what I'm saying? Get a little physical with the Saints and receivers. And we gonna be good. And we gotta be able to tackle. That's the number one goal. We gotta be we gotta keep things in front of us. We gotta know how to tackle. We gotta know how to tackle in this game. We gotta wrap up in this game. I don't wanna see Jared Davis missing tackles. I don't want to see nobody missing tackles in this game. If we don't tackle well in this game, we're going to lose. Bottom line. If we don't tackle and stay dis have discipline on defense and stop the run, we're going to lose this game. Because the Saints will take advantage of that. Because we, I, who's scared of Drew Brees' arm? We're not scared of his arm. So we got to basically play man press on him and be able to wrap up. Don't let them get yards out of the catch, none of that. So, yeah, we got to do that and get a little pressure on him too. You know what I'm saying? It's bad enough he can't stretch the field no more. And then you get pressure on Drew Brees and just make it even harder for him. So, we got to get pressure. We got to play physical off the line. And we got to be able to wrap up on defense. That's basically what we got to do. So, yeah. Um...
Let me know what you think in the comment section below about this and subscribe, man. Subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at 3D1 Man Beast. Um, I would have some of y'all follow um friend me on Facebook, but some of y'all be trolls, so I'm not. <laughs> but um, yeah. Was that as that being said, that's pretty much what I gotta say about this game. We plan against the Saints at home at one o'clock. So we gotta we gotta show up for this game. That's pretty much what I gotta say about this game. I'm gone. Peace out.